Hey kids, Pedal and Pete here. Round up your adults and bring them to this screen because we are going to now show you the top 10 winners of this year's 2021 Pianos of Petaluma Expo Painted Pianos. One through 10, or I should say 10 through one. But first I want to introduce you to Travis Nedich. And Travis is only about four weeks late with his piano this year, but it's going to be first in line next year, provided we get a sponsor. So we've got these two pianos here. This is actually the original Jenna from 13 years ago. The poor old thing is just so tired. I haven't got the heart to throw it away. So this represents the old and the new. And as you can see, it represents the future. So first of all, let's find out who won the top 10 pianos, and then we'll come back here. And the top 10 voting results, according to you, our exhibit visitors, is as follows with most of the titles made up by Petaluma Pete on the spur of the moment as we roll along here. Number 10, Architectural Amazement by artist Ken Berman. This ultra-contemporary Denmark-made maple-designed piano was the perfect fit for Ken's ultra-contemporary artistic style. Number 9, Captivating Color Cornucopia by artist Maeve Riley. This wide-open, loud-and-proud, sassy-sounding mid-century Baldwin piano was no match for Maeve's fearless, free-spirited brushstrokes. Number 8, River Tranquility by artist Nancy Lloyd. The deep, full-frequency overtones from this pre-war Wurlitzer piano is the perfect backdrop for Nancy's warm and inviting subtleties. Number 7, Snowblind by artist Drake Cunningham. This Baldwin acrosonic spent three years outside before Mother Nature rendered her completely unplayable, but Drake's superior sculpting brought it back to life with a whole new direction. Number six, You Matter, an Amy Critchett and Lynn Woolsey collaboration. A last-minute entry, these two knocked it out of the park with what we call the perfect garden piano, another unplayable instrument designed to grace their backyard after the exhibit closes. Number five, The Little Tugboat That Did by artist Wendy Brayton. Aside from being one of the most prolific artists in town, Wendy also conducts art classes where she helped her students create these paper mache chickens with show-stopping results. Number four, Wild Blue Yonder by Art Start Teen Apprentice Zohar with the help of lead artist Gio Benedetti. Art Start is an award-winning 501c3 nonprofit educational arts organization. Number three, Cruising the Boulevard by artist Elise Dernberger. This used to be an old English upright piano, but is now painted to resemble the back of a 1956 Chevy that opens up into a bar, complete with working internal taillights. Number two, Barns and Birds by artist Lucia Antonelli. Talk about fearless. The off-the-chart choice of colors on this vintage Tin Pan Alley Kimball Upright, topped off with three-dimensional birds flying overhead, made this a true winner. And finally, number one, drum roll please. <laughs> Stained Glass Glissando by artist Robin Disharoon. This tiny abbreviated keyboard Wurlitzer with matching bench was immediately purchased by, you guessed it, artist-creator Robin Disharoon, so she could take it back home to her kids. Now, let's go back to the Arts Center. We are here at the Pianos of Petaluma Expo, and we are speaking with, what is your name, sir? I'm Travis Nedich. Travis, why are you here today? I just finished this piano. Oh yeah? Piano. I was only four weeks late to the <laughs> expo, but I managed to finish it. Oh my. It's the Back to the Future piano, inspired by the clock tower in Petaluma. Oh which my. Which is on the side here. Uh huh. With the swirling Look at clock. This. Oh, you and guys. McFly's in the DeLorean underneath. McFly. Oh, McFly looks a lot older than he was oh, before. Yeah. Oh, my Time goodness. went on. <laughs> 
and we got the Ride the Lightning. Ride the Lightning. That's how we're going to get to the future. Well, this is the future because only two more days, folks. Two more days remaining this Friday and Saturday. Come for the down and check them out. <laughs> for the Pianos yeah. of Petaluma Expo right here at the Petaluma Arts Center. Please, please come and see these pianos. And Travis. What's up? Good job. Thank you. The Petaluma River Promenade Group was created to function as an umbrella communication service covering and assisting the following river-related organizations. The Mayor's Pledge to Dredge, the Petaluma Small Craft Center's Boat Rental Float House, the Petaluma Living History Museum's Save the Trestle Initiative, Friends of the Petaluma River, and Petaluma Waterways. The Petaluma River Promenade is funded through the Petaluma Living History Museum nonprofit by donations from sponsoring companies and by Petaluma area citizens like you. Because this place matters. Don't you just love this town? <laughs>